Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I actually tried to collect different kind of questions that were posted in my previous videos. And I thought that in today's session, I'm going to address a few of the questions so that it is helpful for you to follow along. So if you see, the first question which I'm getting quite often is about the location uh, of where do you download the software? Now, I am sure I have mentioned in my previous sessions that IBM B2B Sterling Integrator software is a monolithic application and the biggest reason behind my sessions or tutorials that I am arranging for all of you that are new or want to learn more about it is because as an EDI fresher, right? Uh, when I joined in IBM, I really felt that there were no such tutorial videos out there available in the YouTube or in Google search anywhere. The reason being that the product itself is a subscription based product where you need to have a license brought from IBM or the product vendor to be able to install it in your own server and then be able to use it for your own learning purpose or your own POC or any kind of development. Now, the license are not cheap. They are pretty costly. And I would say it's really next to impossible to get a procure or license on your own uh, and then use it for your learning purpose in your own local server. So that challenge still remains the same as of today. And hence, if you think that you will be able to download the software, uh, the Sterling B2B integrator uh, application itself, right? And install it and, and try to do some hands on. It's really a good idea, but unfortunately the limitation in respect to the licensing and the cost of the licensing, uh, is going to be a challenge for all of us. So, but to answer your question, if you want to know where you can download the software and you want to spend money on that, uh, definitely there are options. So a couple of places where you can download the software. One uh, is called Passport Advantage. So if you do a Google search on Passport Advantage. It's an IBM hosted software subscription uh, website where you can create your own login credentials and then you can purchase the software uh, and then be able to download the uh, files which are needed for installation as I was showing in my last video and be able to use it, right? That's one place. Now, once you have purchased the software from Passport Advantage, in future, if there are additional uh, versions or patches that gets released for the same product that you have purchased, then you can download the next patches, right? Or fixes or newer versions from a website called Fix Central. So if you search IBM Fix Central, you can use the same credentials and then you should be able to list the software based on the version that you have purchased and be able to look into all the patches and the fixes that are available. And you should be able to apply them after downloading them from the Fix Central. So that's another place. Now, this product can also be installed in containers, right? So you have 
uh, and the containers are hosted in uh, like a Docker registry, and you can uh, download the Docker images from Red Hat, uh, which is also procured by or acquired by uh, IBM. So under Red Hat uh, registry, you should be able to download the Docker images uh, and apply your licenses and be able to use it within a containerized uh, uh, flavor as well, right? Uh, so, so that's another way of using the software. Now, the second question is Sterling certification. Unfortunately, based on my knowledge uh, and my analysis that I have done, until mid of 2019, there was a certification called Sterling B2B Integrator 5.2.6 Solution Implementer that used to be there in the market provided by IBM that we could have appeared for and get certified. Right now, in respect to the Sterling certification, that certification or any other certification in respect to Sterling Integrator is not available in the market. So unfortunately, uh, if you want to get certified in Sterling, uh, there is none that are available in the market. I'm not sure whether IBM is working on maybe introducing a, a new certification on the newer versions like 6.0 and forward. There might be, uh, but we need to wait for that. Third question is, I want to learn IBM SI mapping tool. Any suggestions where to find materials for training? So I mentioned in my previous lessons that if you want to look into the like tutorial documents, there is a wide range of document available publicly for all of us to use it and learn about it, right? For in respect to like practical videos, there like you might find some here and there, maybe over YouTube. I have a friend who used to also work with me in Sterling Integrator. He's right now based out of Australia. He created some uh, very good mapping uh, tutorial videos. But other than that, uh, I would say there are hardly any uh, proper structured uh, materials hands on available in the uh, like a uh, public domain. Now, if you want to see where I am trying to say that the documentation is available, let me show you that quickly. So if I go to Google and if I search for IBM Sterling B2B integrator documentation and I go into this second link. You see over here, you can get all the documentation for each of the versions. Now, if I select 6.1.2, which is the latest version, you can go there and you can look into that documentation over here, right? And on the left hand side, if you see, you have different uh, topics and then subdomains. So if you go under developing, you will find about Sterling File Gateway. You're going to learn more about that. If you want to search for, let's say, mapping, right? So you see over here, mapping and data transformation components. So how translation works, what is a map editor tool, and like the one that I was showing in one of my previous videos. So you have this entire uh, documentation available, and you can go through them, you can learn about them, but the only thing is that hands-on, you need to have the software, right, unfortunately. And that is the reason I am creating these videos for you guys, uh, so that, at least you have some kind of understanding of the real product, right? How it looks, how it works. Uh, because of that, uh, I hope it is useful for all of you, right? Now, the fourth question is, it would be great if you can upload new video daily. 
I would love to. I really would love to create like small snippets of video every day, but unfortunately, uh, because of my existing commitment and engagement towards my current uh, job that I am doing as a solution architect, uh, I have a lot of customer calls and a lot of work that I have to carry on a daily basis, so I really don't get so much time on a daily basis to create some videos for all of you. I would have loved to do that. Uh, and sometimes what happens is that due to my travel plans and uh, uh, some prior commitments, uh, I may not be able to upload videos like every week. Uh, unfortunately, last couple of weeks have been hectic for me, and that's the reason I was not able to, but I have not forgotten any one of you who are looking forward to more such videos and I'll continue to do this uh, as much as possible so that you guys who are pretty new to EDI world or Sterling integrator want to learn more about it uh, uh, can make use of this, right? The only reason I'm trying to do this is to give back to the community because as an EDI fresher, I have faced the same challenges and I just want to make life easier for you guys right who are also new to that uh and that that, that is the whole reason of this uh channel that i've created the next question is what is the growth or potential of sterling integrator now if any one of you keep a very close eye on the existing mft or managed file transfer offerings in the market, there are two types of. One is on-premise based, one is cloud-based, right? Now, when I say about cloud-based, cloud is really picking pace, and within the cloud native offerings, there are certain uh, MFT or managed file transfer offerings that are evolving like for example in azure you have azure integration services that can also do quite a bit of heavy lifting in respect to the edi transactions or the integration part of it uh, in uh, aws you have a service called aws uh, transfer family that can also be used to create an sftp or as2 server and be able to do some kind of uh, file transfers, right? So, but they are evolving. They are not at that uh, level, okay, where a typical uh, like on-premise based uh, applications that are robust in nature, for example, uh, IBM Sterling B2B Integrator, Axway, Seaburger, right? This Clio, Right, so there are quite a few players, but IBM, Axway, Seaburger, they are the leading ones as far as my knowledge goes. And the potential of installing B2B integrator is huge considering the fact that almost most of the Fortune 500 companies in the world are using Sterling B2B integrator because of the rich features and capability that it has to provide out of the box. And uh, that is the reason the potential of Sterling B2B integrator is huge. After acquisition of this product by IBM, they are, they are trying to modernize the application in a microservice based architecture. So they are investing a lot on this product uh, making it more modernized, more cloud native, and uh, uh, more to come, right? So I would say there's a huge potential. If anyone wants to learn Sterling B2B integrator in respect to the career uh, goals and uh, advancement, I would really suggest please continue to do that. It has a huge potential. Uh, it will face challenges in respect to the cloud native offerings or, or like, uh, software as a service model, uh, the typical other products that are out there. But still, I will say next few years is going to grow and you will have a very good career growth if you continue to remain focused on this particular product. 
the last question for today is as a fresher, is it possible to get into EDI? This is a really interesting question. I would give a personal example from my experience. When I joined IBM from a campus hire, initially three months I was given training on Java, J2E technologies, considering the fact that we will be deployed into a project where you would need a Java J2E developer. But then, believe me, when I was put into a project, there was it was not a role of Java J2E developer. It was a role of an EDI developer where I need to do production support. I need to do small kind of enhancement on existing maps and flows. Uh, and EDI was something pretty new to me. And I was an EDI fresher. And from that point until six last 16 years, I have been working in this EDI space wearing multiple hats from developer, production support, admin, architect, right? So I have explored all those areas. And in short, to answer you, it is possible. It is a growing uh, uh, market. EDI is still used in large companies uh, and then it has a huge potential as well. So yeah, definitely it is possible. It's a different mindset that you need. Like from a typical coding perspective, you may not ha need uh, 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 like super expertise in coding, but you need to understand the product in and out. You need to understand the EDI technology. You need to understand the core concept of it. And then you will have multiple products around it, okay? to implement it, right? More or less implementation would be like similar, right? It's just the tools and software that you're going to use is different, that's all. But you need to understand the core concept of EDI and good luck on your journey. And I am going to try to amplify that by helping with uh, the questions that you might have, the, the challenges that you might face uh, when you want to learn EDI, right? Uh, so yeah, it is certainly possible. For today, that's all I wanted to share with you. I hope it was useful and uh, I'll come back shortly with my next video. Till then, take care, stay safe, stay healthy.